Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Product with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to an add-on called the Cinepack add-on. It's a an add-on like Camera Shake, but it's got a lot more presets to it. It's got a lot more content to it. Um, and it works really well. It's not a free add-on that you have to pay for, but for the price, it's not too bad. And it works from Blender 2.79 all the way to Blender 3.5. I'm using Blender 2.92 myself for this tutorial. And once I've, I'll leave a link of it below this video. So once you've downloaded it yourselves, you can install it in Blender and check it out. Um, and the installation process is still the same. Just go to Edit, Preferences, Install, Navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your system. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done it myself. And let's type in Cinna to get the first couple of words in there. And put a check in the box and it's activated. And it's on the right hand side of your user interface in Blender, the tool panel. I'm assuming that this is what that's what this is called. And you can see that's got a lot of presets to it, a lot of major categories, and then there's like a folder of all the categories and subfolders, which are the uh what the main folder is made out of. You click on each one, you'll get different presets because it's just presets, that's all it is, and it uh, works really well. And then you get a thumbnail of the preset that you've chosen or you want to use. You can left click on that and it'll open up a uh, pop up menu. And you've got for this particular set of presets, it's got backwards running, curved missile, uh, handheld transition. You got missile strike and so on and so forth. And if you want to see the preset in action, you just click on preview and it will use your built in GIF player on your system to uh, show the preview of the camera action in action, so to speak. Let's minimize that or close that out. And once you pick your preset, click on import and then it imports it. Now it brings in two empties, which would be this arrow. You zoom in a little bit here. This arrow and this empty. And it connects the, or the tracks the camera that it also brings in. It tracks it to the empty. Uh, brings it in its own camera. So the default camera for Blender, you can left click on that and just delete that. And we can press circle, or I'm sorry about that, zero on our keyboards. So we can see what uh, the camera sees and press play now you have backwards running which looks great and it's pretty simple like once again it's simple straightforward there's no real uh, brainstorming for this it's just really easy to use now you can add actually add several cameras to this but what I thought would happen with this is that when you click on your model to select your model you find a preset click on it it would add the Preset, to, preset camera, so to speak, to your model automatically, but that's not how it works. Let me show you what I mean by that. You press shift on your keyboard. We're going to put Suzanne in our scene. Uh, click on the monkey. Uh, left click on our move gizmo. And we're going to left click and drag Suzanne on, on the X axis. And we're going to click on this hand panel here, this, this uh, move the view panel. So we position our viewport. We have Suzanne selected, so let's uh, choose another camera preset. Let's, let's left click on that and click on walking and import. And as you can see, the camera that we've just imported is not anywhere near Susan because the way the add on works, it has all the cameras and their presets, preset action, so to speak, to the center of Blender. Now you can move this by clicking on camera. And it would be better if, I don't know if this is even named. Oh, it is named. Oh, that's that's helpful. So we have the, we want to move the walking camera uh, set over to Suzanne. So left click, or right, or left click actually, in uh, your outliner. Left click on that uh, camera preset. Then right click. Then click on select, select objects. And then drag it over. Now we have the camera. Let's reposition it so it's in front of Susan. Let's press 7 on our keyboard. Left click and drag on the X axis so that it's right in front of her. And then we're going to press 0 on our keyboard and we're going to press play 
and now it's walking, have a walking camera walking towards Susan. Now that's uh, nice, but if you want to go back to your first camera, all you have to do is left click on that camera, go to view, then go to cameras, and set active object as camera. And now it goes back to our first camera, press play, and now we're back on our first camera. So yeah, this uh, add-on works great. Uh, but I don't know, let's, once again, this is just an introduction to the add-on. And I'm just showing you guys what it can do. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that there aren't many adjustments you can make to the cameras, except in the timeline. You can make them in the timeline because we have, uh, we have these uh, points here, keyframes. Now you can make it go faster or slower. Once again, this is just an introduction. You just click on one, press G on our keyboard, and then drag it over. Obviously, this is going to make the camera move it faster. Press it on our keyboard again. Go back to the beginning and press play. That's faster. So you can make minor adjustments to the camera settings, so the camera themselves, by uh, changing the position of the keyframes. But that's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing much else you can do. I mean, you can change these two, but you wouldn't want to you know, mess with it so much that it actually destroys the animation itself. And you actually don't have to because, like I said before, there are a lot of presets in here. There's There are pans. Scroll up with that. There's this set of pans, the pulls here. And there, I mean, there's all kinds of presets you can find with this. For some reason right now the thumbnails aren't showing up. I don't know why that is. I think it's just trying to load up into Blender. But yeah, I mean you can see all kinds of presets in here because it's that's what it does. It's just an add-on that has that's solely based on presets. That's pretty much it. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. The uh, Cinepack add-on. And uh, hopefully um, you can download it yourselves and check it out. And hopefully this tutorial helps you get uh, an introduction to the Cinepack add-on. And once again, I really thank you guys for have subscribed to the channel and for watching the videos. And hopefully the videos are helping you guys learn more and more about Blender and about 3D animation. And I really appreciate you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios. Different cameras to your scene and if you want to go back to that first camera left click on that first camera uh, then click on select or view sorry about that click on view then go down to let me see uh, let me see go down to align view and click on align active camera to view is that it or Is that it? Oh. Let me redo this, baby, baby.